you ever get scared? I know I do. But I'll let you into a secret. Everybody is frightened of something. Everybody has something which makes them feel afraid. It might be the dark. Or it might be being up high. For some people, it's doing a test at school or when you're an adult, having your driving test. Some people don't like talking in public or reading aloud at school. Some people are frightened of coronavirus. And as for me, I'm at absolutely terrified of birds. In today's Gospel, Jesus tells his special friends, his followers or disciples, that they mustn't be afraid. The disciples were about to go out and tell the whole world about Jesus. And they were scared. But Jesus told them that God knows all the thought, knows all about them. God the Father loves and cares for them. In fact, God the Father loves and protects all creatures, no matter how small, even tiny little birds like the sparrows. And if God loves and protects them, God will definitely love and protect us when we are scared. Now when I'm afraid, sometimes if I'm really afraid, I'll write something about what scares me or I will draw a picture. But the thing I'm always remember to do is to ask God for help. Because God the Father will send the Holy Spirit to me and to you to help us not feel so afraid. The Holy Spirit went to the disciples at Pentecost and filled them with courage. And in the same way, the Holy Spirit can come to us. The Holy Spirit acts like the water in my jug. The Holy Spirit surrounds us and as the Holy Spirit gets to work, the Holy Spirit can make our deepest fears subside, fade away, so they are nowhere near as scary as they were before. So we can be just like the disciples and go out into the world full of courage to be God's witnesses and to do God's work and show God's love to the rest of the world.